Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am here to bring you another Diamond Art Club sneak peek of the week. Today we are going to be looking at the beautiful Scorpio by Eau Claire Studio. I cannot wait to get into this one. If you are new to these videos, I will be doing a complete unboxing and little tour of this kit. This kit will be released this weekend on Saturday the 17th. General release will be at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. And if you are a Ruby or Diamond Art Club member, you do get access to early releases for these kits. And that early release is 30 minutes early, so 9 a.m. Pacific and 12 p.m. Eastern. Okay, let's get into this kit. Grab a cozy drink. Today I am drinking raspberry leaf tea. It's delicious. And we will go ahead and open this up. We have the toolkit and our canvas and our little sticker. So as always, here's our lovely little logbook sticker. I like to pop this right on the actual box that the kit came in. This just helps to organize my ever-growing stash of diamond art kits <laughs> right there. And before we jump into the canvas, we'll go ahead and talk about the toolkit. Someone pointed out in my last video that you don't have to actually rip off the top. You can just open it from the top. I will say, in my defense, it's very confusing because there are two little lines indicating that you should tear it. And so, you know, I... I just, I want to tear it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I like tearing it off. <laughs> I throw it away anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So as always in every Diamond Art Club kit, you are going to get their premium toolkit. It comes with every single tool that you need to complete your entire canvas, which is amazing. Starting off, we have some baggies. I like to use these personally to fit any like overflow drills that I may have that don't completely fit in my organizers. And these are really handy for that. Some people use these to actually kit up and organize all their drills, but these definitely do come in handy. And then we also have a pair of tools tweezers. This is usually included with every square kit that they come out with. Um, they are pretty sharp, so just be careful, but it comes with this little cover, which is handy, but I love their tweezers. And here we have the pen. We have a little grippy that you can pop on the pen, so it's more comfortable for your hands. And then we also have some multi-placers. We have a four and a seven multi-placer, and you can actually take this and pop it right on the end of your pen. And now you have a single placer right here and a multi-placer right here. I personally love the seven placers. They are my favorite. I started out with a four though, so I like that they come with both options. And then we have the tray. This is what you're going to pour your drills into. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my cats. Of course, they're getting the zoomies right now. <laughs> this tray does come with a little stopper that you can pop right on the end here, I don't ever know if it, this is the right way or this is the right way. I don't think it totally matters, to be honest. You can pour your drills right into this little tray and you shake it up a little bit and you tap it and you tip it over a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, you don't wanna pour your drills out, but it'll line up in all of these lines and you'll be able to easily take your pen and pick them up from the tray and place them on your canvas. It's great. And then of course we have the infamous Diamond Art Club Heart Pink Wax. This is what you can use to fill your diamond painting pen with. You just like dip your pen into it when it's empty. Make sure to take the plastic cover off. There is a little plastic cover that is covering the wax. So take that off first <laughs> and then you can dip your pen in there, fill your pen, and that will help you to pick up your drills. And then everyone's favorites, we have the cover minder and the washi tape. Looks like I got a little blue confetti dolphin cover minder. It's so cute. Cover minders are magnetic. They can kind of help you uh, hold back your plastic cover. And then the washi tape is usually used to section off your canvas. This is my preferred method of sectioning off my canvases. This one's really pretty. It's like a blue floral kind of vibe. I really like it. I have a whole video on using washi tape to section off your canvases. I will link it in the description below if you want to check it out. That is the toolkit. Before I move on, I just want to say, because I always forget, I almost forgot again. 
<laughs> I do have a code ZOE10 where you can get 10% off your first purchase at Diamond Art Club. Using it does give me a small commission which always just goes right back into making videos for this channel. Every little bit helps but no pressure. Go find the best code for you. You do not have to use mine but if you want to, if you are interested, I always encourage saving the money where you can and you can use my code ZOE10 to save 10% off. Okay, let's get in to the canvas, my favorite part. Okay, and I think we're going this way today. Let's take a look at her. Oh my gosh, I'm already loving, loving the colors in this one. Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. So when you get your kit, it will always come a little bit rolled like this. Diamond Art Club has the softest, like best canvas material ever. If you just let it sit out for a little bit, it'll actually just start to lay flat by itself. But if you want to speed up the process, you want it to lay more flat, my best advice, my trick, my tip is to just roll it the opposite way that it came and this will really help flatten out the canvas. We'll give it a little roll. And there we go. And sometimes I just like to kind of press it out like this. Oh my gosh, much better. Okay, look at her. She is a whole vibe, y'all. Like I said, this is Scorpio. This is from Eau Claire Studio. This is part of their Zodiac series. I believe they only have one more left to release. I don't know off the top of my head which one that is, but I have gotten a couple of others from this collection. I'm not usually, and I said this in my first video, I'm not usually like a Zodiac girly. I know what my Zodiac sign is and it's like, it's kind of fun, but I don't typically go towards like collections like this. But what I do love is beautiful colors. I like celestial things and I love like stunning portrait art like this. So this has been my cup of tea. I have loved this collection. This has easily been like my favorite Zodiac collection that they've done so far. And I just think she's so cute. Like the purple hair, the amethyst, it's it's giving. I love it. Sometimes I like to read up on like what the symbolism is for each star sign. Apparently what I read, this is just what I read, take it for what it's worth, <laughs> but apparently purple represents like transformation and growth and that speaks to Scorpios because apparently Scorpios are always seeking ways to evolve. Again, I don't know how true that is. I'm not a Scorpio so if you are, let me know if that resonates with you, but I really like all of the purple and just the sort of like starry celestial dreamy vibes that are happening i like the way that she's like looking she just looks like so feminine and like fierce i'm just all about her i love it i love it i love it so this is another one of their square canvases this is a great size it's not too big it's not too small but you will not be working on this like forever and ever and ever <laughs> you will make it through this is a 55.8 by 55.8 centimeters and as i already mentioned the canvases that diamond art club have they're just they're my favorite they're wonderful this is a really soft material it also has a pretty scalloped edge that is finished and stitched so you don't have to worry about fraying we've got color coded charts on both sides of the canvas which is very helpful and something that I forget to mention in my videos that I want to start remembering to mention, Diamond Art Club is licensed with all of the artists that they work with, which I really like. I personally think that having friends that are artists, being an artist myself at various points in my life, I think it's important that artists get paid for the work that they do. And unfortunately, it happens a lot in Diamond Art, particularly where an artist's work is stolen and placed on canvases and they don't get any benefits or monetary compensation for folks using and enjoying their art. That's just something that I really appreciate about Diamond Art Club is that all of their artists are licensed with them. So that means that they are getting commission when we are purchasing their art, which is lovely. Before I jump into the sticker sheet, let's zoom in and take a look at this artwork a little bit more closely so we can see some of that symbol field it's so clear too. They're so easy to see, which I really appreciate. I'm just absolutely <laughs> obsessed. Like this part right here, all of these colors, 
That is so fun. I would say this canvas is fairly confetti heavy, which means you're gonna have a lot of color changes in a smaller section. So if we even look at like this section right here, you're gonna be changing out your colors a lot more in order to work on the canvas itself. There is a some color blocking a little bit in here in her face when we have just one single color um, that's more so color blocking but this particular art this is pretty I would say fairly confetti heavy there's a lot of color changes going on I love both confetti and color blocking but honestly I have to say color blocking gets really old for me <laughs> color blocking makes things a little bit easier because you can move more quickly through the canvas but I would say confetti makes it fun. I feel like I'm a little bit like more involved when I'm changing out my colors quickly. I just enjoy it more so confetti is my jam. Okay let's go ahead and take a peek at the sticker sheet before we get into the drills. Here is the sticker sheet. Every Diamond Art Club kit comes with an entire sticker sheet just like this where every single symbol is pre-cut. You can take it off and use them to kit up and organize all of your drills. Here is the artwork again she's just so like fierce i love it and then here are all of the colors starting up here from the top we'll kind of go our work our way down it looks like we have two ab's aurora borealis they're really pretty shiny drills i will show them when we work through the drills this canvas has 66 total colors, so a lot of colors, which I love. And a lot we've got a lot of purples and blues obviously going on with some fun touches of pinks and reds. So 66 colors, and we have two Aurora Borealis. We've got one iridescent and four fairy dust. So a lot of fun, special, sparkly drills happening in this canvas. Cool, let's take a look at those drills. Here are the drills. They are absolutely stunning. Diamond Art Club drills are second to none. They are, I believe, risen, and they just have the shiniest, prettiest, most beautiful effect. They are truly wonderful. Okay, let's run through these drills together. So right out the gate, we have this beautiful iridescent drill. This is L445, and this is actually the entire border right here. You can see that there's like a stitched, almost looking like framed border on each of these pieces of art from this particular collection. It, this is on here, and this is what that border consists of. This gorgeous iridescent like gold drill. It's beautiful. <laughs> and here are the rest of the drills. We're gonna have a lot of purples and blues in this one. Two packets of this purple. Here's our first AB. This is that Aurora Borealis, like I mentioned. You can see that it's just a little bit extra sparkly. ABs are so beautiful. 141 is just that classic white AB. And this AB is actually sprinkled all throughout this whole canvas. You can kind of see some of these more like white sort of dots. And I believe this is supposed to give just like a stardust effect. And that's gonna be all of these AB drills. So pretty. More purple. <laughs> Look at this pink. This is just like a true bubblegum pink. How fun. Moving on to our second row of drills. We do have some 310, that's our black. Not everyone likes working with 310. <laughs> yeah, I understand, it gets a little boring. Oh, I love this color. It kinda is the color of my nails. <laughs> I love, love, love that pink. Some fun blue there. Here is our second AB. This is 128. It's the prettiest shade of like a pale pastel pink. And again, you can kind of see that extra little shimmer on the top of those drills. Love ABs, never get sick of them. They're just so fun. And this AB is going to be in some of these bursts of like watercolory starry effects as well. You can see that 
sort of lining here. So it's really gonna give a fun effect to the background and what's going on in the background. And here's another row. Starting right off the bat, we have our fairy dust. Let me see how close I can get to really show this beautiful effect off. The fairy dust is just this like pretty little hint of shimmer on the top of the drills and I love fairy dust. I finally did my first kit with fairy dust drills and I am such a fan. Here's our second fairy dust. This is a really pretty like blue, like aqua blue fairy dust drill. Love it. Yeah, I did my first canvas finally. Underwater Train is what I started working on and it has fairy dust. And I am such a fan. They are so, like, so subtle, but so beautiful. Here's our last row of drills. Here are our last two fairy dust drills. So these are actually kind of similar to, oh no, we have a little straggler, <laughs> a little runaway. Um, this is kind of similar to the other fairy dust drills, but it looks like they'll kind of complement one another. These like blue and yellow shades. So pretty. Oh, I love those. And those fairy dust drills, by the way, those are gonna be like all of her cool tattoos and symbols in this piece of art. Even this down here is more of that yellow fairy dust. And then I even see it like woven through as more of those little tiny speckles of like stardust, which is so beautiful. Gosh, this is just a confetti lover's dream. If you like sparkle, if you like fairy dust, you are going to be living your best life. And if you like the color purple, because <laughs> there's a lot of purple. Alrighty, y'all, that is the beautiful Scorpio by Claire Studio. Again, this is being released this weekend. So definitely pick it up if you are liking this series and this art. Let me know in the comments below if you do plan to scoop this one up. She's a beauty. I am very excited to work on her. I'm almost tempted to start her next. I just really, really am digging like all of the purple and the color changes and the beautiful like specialty drills. She's a dream. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!